Not a bad way to kick off the work week with a dry, comfortable conditions. We've seen sunshine mixing with some fair weather cumulus clouds. None of these clouds are expected to billow or produce any rain showers or thunder showers, but they are at times blocking some sunshine. And our hurricane barrier camera shows this very picturesque scene looking out over the highway. And we're finding that mixture of sunshine and clouds down towards Narragansett as well. Some people out enjoying the beach today with those slightly cooler than average temperatures. Uh, it's a comfortable day to be out and about. Radar is quiet on live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar, and that's expected to be the case through the day today and through the night tonight. In fact, our threat tracker future cast giving it the green light here for outdoor activities today, tonight, and for a primary day tomorrow. Looking ahead to that, we'll see clouds and some sun mixing. It looks dry for voters, but the temperatures will remain slightly cooler than normal. And I'm going to get to all of those details. If you're heading out right now in Smithfield, mid-70s, the humidity is below 60%. We've got about 51% relative humidity in Seekonk. Temperatures in the mid-70s there. A few spots still in the low 70s, like Coventry. And a dry skies, Tiverton at 73 degrees. High pressure is in control. That high is going to be staying off two hours north over the next couple of days. We've got a front stalled two hours south, and there'll be a storm system that's going to ride along that front and pass to the south of us, well south out over the ocean, far enough away that the showers stay away, but we do get some of the cloud cover from it through the middle part of the week. And our future cast shows some of that moving in here through the afternoon hours with clouds and sunshine. It'll be partly cloudy overnight tonight. And then as we head into your Tuesday, I think we'll be in and out of the cloud cover. So both clouds and sunshine at times, but again, the rain remains to our south and our skies will be uh, partly sunny under those uh, conditions. For our inland areas this afternoon, we're looking at a lot of these fair weather clouds tending to fade away as the afternoon goes on. So our skies will turn mostly sunny again. And we should be climbing up into the middle 70s for highs, both inland and at the coastline. Narragansett today, partly to mostly sunny skies through the remainder of the afternoon. The temperature is down to about 70 by 5 o'clock in the evening. On the bay, good visibility. East-northeast winds at 10 to 20 knots. We have a low tide coming up at about a quarter past one this afternoon. We're back into the 50s for late night lows. Another nice night to keep the windows open, allow the fresh air to come in. And speaking of tonight, if you are uh, up, you may want to catch a shot of the uh, super moon, the full harvest moon uh, going to be tonight. It's also the point where the moon will be closest to the earth, so it qualifies as a super moon. Tuesday's high near 74 degrees under again dry conditions Wednesday as well decent shot for some showers by the end of the day Thursday into Thursday night and then we're going to be keeping our eye on the weekend future cast some of our computer models have a storm system offshore question is how close does it come to us so you want to check back in for updates some of them uh, some of our computer models again have that storm missing us others do keep some showers in our forecast but what we do see for the upcoming weekend another shot of cooler than average highs. We may only be in the 60s by Sunday afternoon. Kids will finally get to wear their fall clothes that they've been wanting to wear. All right. Exactly. Thanks, Michelle. Here's a quick look at what we're working